Cover the point, Fred. Cover the point, Fred. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mac McGee from Cover Country here on Braves Country Radio. Now, if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We give you free MLB picks Monday through Saturday. And Country Club members, you see it first. Join the Country Club today, just nine cents a day. Let's get into it. Oh, baby. Thought I clicked the... (laughs) The card off the screen. I'm getting used to this. Get off me. Get off me. All right, let's get into, hey, happy draft day. Happy NFL draft day, which is why we have so many day games. There's only one night game in Major League Baseball uh, here on Thursday, April 25th. Got a lot of day games. One night game. It's A's versus Yankees. I'm staying away from it. I don't think there's going to be a lot of value because of the line on it, but the Yankees ought to club the hell out of Alex Wood and the A's. I mean, that guy's been a disaster. He, I don't know what the A's are doing as him as a starter. He was actually making a decent elongation of his career as a middle relief guy. Sometimes as a piggyback. He's He doesn't have starter stuff. So, anyways, uh, the games that we are taking, we're going to take four of them today. We thought about taking a smaller slate because it's uh, so so many day games, but it is draft day. Let's go ahead and hit it, hit the ground running. Let's see what the first one is. It pops up on my screen. Not necessarily the first one on the slate chronologically. The first one that pops up on my screen is we have Houston and Chicago in Wrigley Field. Verlander versus Assad. Really good pitching matchup. Give me the under. In the first five innings, should be getting at a four and a half clip. Uh, you, you you may be able to get it actually a little higher than that, a little lower, but we're getting at four and a half. So give me the under four and a half. Next game on the docket, you've got the Minnesota Twins, and they are at home against the White Sox. It is a day game. The Twins offense has been struggling this year. We understand that. But Michael Soroka is absolutely cooked. I hate to see it. As an Atlanta Braves fan, I hate to see the guy go through this because big fan of his back in 2019 and then ever since the Achilles injury in 2020 and the rehab and the re-injury and the several surgeries and the several rehabs, he it just I, I saw it last year. So a lot of fans get up in arms about when they traded him. He didn't have it. And the biggest thing that I see from him is that because he's changed his delivery, because he's worried about the injury, he doesn't have that bite to the slider that he used to have, and his slider comes in flat. So he's going to have to make a decision before I ever take Michael Soroka again. And basically it's going to be, do you go back to what got you there and risk the, the injury, or do you keep pedaling along hoping to extend your career probably if, as a uh, batting batting uh, batting practice coach because 0-3 with the 7.5 ERA, I know that's a long way for me to get to the point. Give me the Twins, plus 4.5. The next one up. Dodgers are playing the Washington Nationals. Now, typically when you're Dodgers, Nationals, oh. Probably going to be a high-scoring game. I don't think so today. First of all, it's 4.05 first pitch. They're going to be fighting the shadows. Hopefully. Hopefully, we don't get a bunch of cloud coverage. Hopefully, they're fighting the shadows. Secondly, it's Yamamoto, who's looked much better since his debut, and Mackenzie Gore, who's looked damn good this year. So give me Dodgers and Nationals. The under in the first five innings a four and a half. I even on one book, I actually got it as high as five and a half. There's a, there, there's a lack of value on Mackenzie Gore. So give me that. I'm staying away from, from the total, but give me the first five on the under. And the last one we'll pick, it's actually a 110 Eastern first pitch. You can see this game on Nesson. Um, you got Brian Bayo And... Tristan McKenzie 
going head to head in Cleveland. McKenzie coming back from that injury. He's kind of a slow start, but he tends to come out of the gates pretty quickly. He tends to pitch pretty well at the early. It's usually towards the end. Bayo has looked phenomenal when it, when his stuff is on this year. So give me the under in that game. You get four and a half. You get five. And I even saw five and a half in one. But typically it's four and a half or five. Give me the under in Boston, Cleveland. And there you have it. We'll give you the picks once again as we fade away. And y'all have a great day, Cover Country. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And become a country club member today. You get the picks first before the lines have a chance to change. And that's going to be important because we're coming up on football season. We've got a winning percentage of over 60% in football as well over the last one. Eight, I, I guess we'll, we'll be going into the ninth year of doing that. Have a great one, y'all. Cover the point, Fred. Cover the point, Fred. We give you free MLB picks Monday through Saturday. Country Club members, you see it first. Join the Country Club today. We'll see you next time. Good luck and good betting to everybody.